You're watching Local 5 News. We are Iowa. It has been a couple of years in the making, but it is finally here. We are talking about the Broadway series with Des Moines Performing Arts and the musical My Fair Lady, a show that was set to be here right before the closures of COVID is now on the Des Moines Performing Arts stage. And joining us, we have one of the very talented performers from this production, Kevin Parso, joining us, who plays the role of Colonel Pickering. Kevin, thank you so much for being here with us today. My pleasure. I'm, I'm loving being in Des Moines. Oh, I love hearing that. Okay, so maybe for those that aren't familiar with this Learner and Low classic, tell us about this tale and really the beauty of this particular production on the stage. Uh, well, it's uh, the story, um, it takes place in London in 1913. It's the story of a young flower girl who has a Cockney accent, a very uh, uh, difficult accent to understand. And she um, gets under the uh, wing of the of a uh, Professor Phonetics, who changes her accent into a beautiful, you know, classic uh, uh, British accent. And it's that journey for her um, from the, a flower girl to being what is essentially a, a princess uh, over the course of the show. The beauty of this production, I think, is that it changes the weight of the story. For many, many years, this story centered around the character that Rex Harrison created in 1956, Henry Higgins, that's the professor of uh, phonetics. And it was because of his star power that the sort of the, the focus of the show was on that character. Julie Andrews was 20 when she debuted this show. It was sort of a nobody. Um, and our director has placed the weight of the show in that direction for Eliza, the character that uh, Julie Andrews played. And uh, I think it works beautifully, especially for young people who are looking for a story that's about change and transformation. I love that. Now, uh, the musical theater nerd that I am, this is the production that was reimagined for the Lincoln Center stage, which you were also a part of. Uh, all you heard about was these incredible sets, the costumes, the music in a big way. Is that what we're still experiencing uh, as you guys are on tour and finally back here in Des Moines? Absolutely. We have uh, we travel with eight semi tractor trailers worth of, of sets, costumes. We have 136 hats, 94 wigs. I mean, it's like a, it's like traveling a small city uh, as we go. The set is gorgeous. The costumes um, were nominated for Tony and won the Tony for best costumes. Uh, and those are the costumes you'll be seeing uh, in this production. I mean, the 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 production values of the of this are spectacular. Yeah, I can't wait to Not see Not to mention it. the acting values. And, the and, actors are, are pretty damn good, too. And the acting <laughs> isn't bad. Okay, good to know. Uh, as the character of Colonel Pickering, you're kind of a lovable character, a helpful character throughout the piece. But do you have a favorite part in the show maybe that you're a part of or one that you look forward to happening every night? Oh, yeah, there's a phone call at the end uh, uh, of my time on stage where I'm calling someone to get some help uh, from an old friend, uh, uh, Boozy. Boozy uh, comes in and, uh, and helps at the end, of the end of the day. But I have this really fun uh, little phone call at the end that, uh, that I look forward to every night. Oh, I'm also, I, look, I also look forward to it because it's the last thing I do and I can finally take a break. <laughs> I can finally rest. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, thank you, Kevin, for joining us today. Just part of the magic of this incredible show that we are so happy is finally, finally made its way uh, to Des Moines. Runs through on Sunday. You can get tickets at dmpa.org. Thank you so much. Looking forward to seeing you on the stage.